season. Discover great new giftables for all the beauty lovers on your list. And we know the holidays are busy, so we're giving you two extra hours to shop our Today's Special. See the premiere every day at 10 p.m. Eastern all season long. And don't forget to go to our gift store on hsn.com. Shop now and return any item through January 31st, 2019. Find your Mary on hsn and hsn.com. It's Project Central around here. With just a little imagination, some of this, a bit of that. The possibilities are endless. Whether you're just getting started, or if you have a full room devoted to crafting, we have the supplies and ideas to help get it done. Say yes to crafting at HSN. Want the gift that keeps on giving? $50,000 can be yours if you're the winner of the HSN and QVC Black Friday sweepstakes. First, visit hsn.com or qvc.com and search sweepstakes. Then enter your email address daily for a chance to win instant prizes from some of your favorite brands or take home our grand prize of $50,000. Enter now through December 3rd on HSN or QVC for your chance to win. Thing I love about shopping at HSN for the holidays? Oh, that one's easy. Flex Pay. Flex Pay is like Santa's little helper. It allows me to get everything on my gift list and make monthly payments with no interest or fees. Even if you're on the naughty list. I got a gaming system for my nephew, a pair of funky boots for my sister, and a little something just for me. Flex Pay allows me to be the best gift giver I can be without the worries of paying for all of my holiday shopping at once. Beat that layaway. Okay, so I'm super excited because we have an entire hour. We're going to talk about all the great things that you can use with your Cricut machine, and it's called the Cricut Maker. We're going to feature that in just a bit, but I have to show you this. This is actually one of my all-time favorite, favorite things I have from Cricut, and just not beyond just my Cricut machine, but this is called the Heat Press. Now, I have the standard one, and look what they did. They came out with like a little mini guy, and I'm so jealous of this mini guy, and we even have a larger one, and you're going to be seeing that coming up in this hour. Now, what does this do? I will tell you flat out from my experience, guys, it is the easiest way to do any kind of iron on that you might be doing. So instead of getting an iron out and you kind of got to guess the temperature and then you burn your project or you melt the vinyl or whatever, this is all basically automatic and you literally set it on this project and then you put it back in the case. I would not do my iron on projects without my um, heat press and I absolutely love it. So here's what we have. We have the six by seven inch, which is the little guy, right? here which I adore the nine by nine that's the traditional original one they launched and we launched it here and it was very popular and then we have the big guy which is the 12 by 10 and we have mats that come with them that you do not get out in standard retail so that's going to be coming up also too we have their famous light box you're going to see that yes I have that I have a lot of Cricut projects you know in my um, my son he's so clever <clears throat> he's really observant you know most guys I'll be honest with you really don't aren't that observant about stuff and he literally for Christmas got me the light board. And he, cause he had seen the all pad? my cricket, the bright pad. He had seen all my cricket in my crafting area and he figured out I didn't have that and he bought it for me. Isn't that neat? I love it. He had no idea. All right, so this is kind of fun, Anna, because we're gonna be able to break down surfaces that you use with the Maker, yeah, correct? Yeah, okay. the Maker, the entire Cricut family of products. That's good. So it's, you know, it's not just Maker specific when we talk about consumables, it becomes the entire, the Explore, the Explore Air 2, the, all, all amazing things. Well, Cricut just launched this thing called Permanent Glossy Vinyl. Yay! <laughs> and Permanent Glossy Vinyl means that it is UV resistant and water resistant. All right. Right. Okay, so what that means is that we're looking at this. I'm going to show you this. What you're getting is all all of these, mm, right? I had them all great. turned perfectly. Um, I'll just pick them up. These are sampler packs of the permanent vinyl. They, it looks like you're just getting four colors and the transfer adhesive. But on the table, this is all the color you're getting. Oh, wow. Look at the rainbow. Isn't that great? That's the, awesome. They're 12 by 12 sheets. There's 24 of them. And so when you get all the way to... 
I mean, I love this wheel because it's almost every color from bright to pastel to the sort of a, a more fruity color palette. Then you have metallics and, and traditional black and white. And then there's my favorite, there's the ivory. Mm. So what we end up having is a, now a substrate that's going to um, have more wear and tear, right? It's going to last with us more, more than normal. Sure. All right. So what is vinyl? <laughs> that's, I want to start there sure. because if you, if you've ever had an electronic cutting machine, the number one thing that people cut with those machines is vinyl. And the number two thing is iron on. Okay. And vinyl is like a big sticker. And this is what happens. So you cut, you cut the design on, on your machine, right? And then you add this transfer tape and then now it peels it off so that it makes it something that you can apply to anything. All right. So you actually apply it to a surface like the coffee mug and you use your Cricut tool to burnish that design onto the mug, right? And here we've made an entire set of these for Christmas, which is so cute. And this is, you know, this is Christmas morning with your family. Do four different designs and have them ready uh, on Christmas morning. So, or you give them as a set, you know, maybe you have an office um, uh, Christmas swap, white elephant gift. This is so fun to make a personalized gift with your Cricut. So permanent vinyl, you're getting 24 sheets of this amazing material. And when it, the UV resistant part, I think is the most intriguing to me because I, I know paper fades, you know, in the sun, it, it fades, but the, I didn't know that the vinyl fades. And this, we're talking about some seriously vibrant colors. You don't want this, the, you want this to be UV resistant just like it is. Which I love that. And also too, you think about it, for me, I make a ton, I get those tumblers, you know, the ones that are the insulated tumblers. And for gifts for all my friends in tennis, I do their yeah. monogram and then I put, but I always use permanent, I use the permanent vinyl to do that. So you're taking, you're cutting, the the, the 24 sheets looks like uh, it's a beautiful rainbow, but you're using about this much at a time especially when we're creating a custom monogram. So you're going to, look at this, this is so cute. This is for my friend Rachel, right? It goes into a dish, right? A pretty little dish that's just as simple and easy as, and, and cute with the little pineapples, but all you're doing is taking, you're taking the vinyl and you're, you, know, you actually have to burnish it a little more than I just did onto the surface so that it actually lets go and, and it's just not gonna let go for me right now. You know now. why we're doing that too? One of my What's favorite, that? favorite places, guys, to get a million surfaces. I've done it for my son's 21st birthday. I've gotten the bags there and made monogram bags. Is that place that sells everything for $1? <laughs> no, I'm telling <laughs> you. The greatest surfaces on earth that are very inexpensive and you can turn around and give them as great gifts, get them at that store. Like for example, you get a little cosmetic bag and do that and you haven't spent hardly anything. <laughs> this didn't come from the dollar store. This one came from the Anna Griffin store. Well, you know, so a little more expensive than that. <laughs> but I'm saying little bags like this, there's so many substrates this, that you can find uh -huh, that this, work great with the vinyl. This is the best bridesmaid's gift right there. Yep, yep. You know, you, uh, if you've got a wedding coming up and you're thinking about what in the world am I gonna do for those special people in my life, Cricut, Cricut, Cricut vinyl, Cricut yep. all consumables are going to make a personalized project in and, minutes. And my favorite, favorite, I made an alien welcome sign out of this one because I have had this one. This is the, <laughs> I did an alien welcome, you crack up, it was a pink alien. Um, that's the glitter, love the glitter. And then look how cute the pattern one is. These are the patterns as well. So you have pattern, you have the glitter, my all time fave, and now you have the permanent rainbow of colors. Something else I was speaking of weddings, my nephew and his now wife just got married like two weeks ago. Yeah. I did all the bridesmaids bag with the vinyl I, and they loved them. They loved them, right? I did all the groomsmen's bags using the vinyl and my Cricut. I do all my tennis gifts for my girls. I monogram everything, anything that'll hold still, Anything that'll hold still, I use vinyl on. Like, I just love right. it. Well, Other now, than t-shirts, and I would do iron-ons for that. Now it's more oh, indestructible, right? You're not, you don't have to be as, as careful with it. You know, if you're thinking about maybe you know, personalizing an iPhone cover, you know, or a phone cover, and you think, oh, I'm gonna use that every day, and I'm gonna, it's going to uh, X, Y, and Z, right? Yeah. right? yeah, now it's gonna stay, right? As long as you burnish it strong enough, you're, it's going to, you're gonna pop it on the back I'd of your phone. And also do outdoor signs if you want to, in the back of your car. I mean, literally, you don't huh. remember it's gonna stay. It's pretty good about that, but you know, I think that's a great idea. 
That's perfect. Like I, I love, I, I love it when people monogram their car. Oh, I do too. <laughs> I've got actually a crack in my fender, and I'm getting ready to vinyl do these swirls. I'll probably use one of your swirls to cover the crack because I'm too cheap to actually get the fender fixed. <laughs> <laughs> swear to God, it's, I'm gonna measure the crack and I'm gonna make swirls all along my fender to hide it. I swear that is a true honest God story. <laughs> okay, we got a lot going on. Here, let's talk Facebook real quick. Um, if you would like to uh, ask Anna a question or say hello to all of us or whatever you wanna do, um, I am now face, on Facebook Live. Right now we're streaming. And I wanna say hi to Vanessa and Martha's there and Jennifer. Jennifer's from Los Angeles, Karina's there, Susan. Hi guys. So if you wanna ask Anna a question, I will try to get to it, I promise. I know I always get a lot of people and I can't get to all of them, but I do try. All right, here it is. Oh, this is the Cricut Maker. Um, I'm so excited to have the colors because I just actually have the original Cricut color that we did. What is the Cricut Maker all about? Well, it's, to me, almost unlimited imagination. There's so many things you can do. Look at the gorgeous rose. We have the champagne and we have the blue. Not only is this a brilliant cutting machine, but it also writes for you. It scores for you. It's, it's so much fun. All the vinyls we were just talking about, yeah, you use them in this machine. We're gonna get to it towards the end of the hour, but here's the big scoop, you gotta know. We have the lowest price Cricut Maker we've ever offered. And we even include a foil bundle pack that's extra you won't get anywhere else. So if you've ever, ever been thinking about finally getting a Cricut or maybe upgrading from one of your earlier Cricuts to the Maker because it's so versatile and it does so much more than the other Cricuts, um, this is the night to do it. Lowest price we've ever done on any Cricuts and I'm so excited that's coming up and you'll see it in just a bit. But before we do that, Another, I, this is the item my son bought me. Don't you think that's pretty observant of my son? Yeah, I like actually that. Actually, look at all my Cricut stuff and realize I didn't have this. He's quite thoughtful. He was very thoughtful. Mm -hmm. And it's a great time to have it on the show because you can do a lot with it, but I like it especially when I'm doing my weeding of all my vinyl. Yes, that's exactly what this was designed for. This is the Cricut Bright Pad. And believe me, when you say bright, that is an understatement. It's a personal light box. It is so great. It's pencil thin. Look at that. I'm going to flip it over so that you can see that this is blue on the back. We have all kinds of colors for you tonight. So the blue I'm going to use... We have a mint, That's we pretty. have a pink, and we have a lavender version of the Bright Pad. Isn't that pretty? And it, it, yeah, they're, that's just the backs of them. They've got these little non-skid pieces so that once you've got it on your work surface, it's not going, it's not gonna move so that you can use it, all right? And as a, I started out in calligraphy, um, when, I, when I graduated college, I started doing wedding invitation calligraphy, and my dad made me a light box. Oh, wow. Okay? And when he, when he made the light box, it was big. Like, it was a big wooden thing and I would and it was on an angle and I could do my calligraphy and God I wish I had this you know because <laughs> yeah. this can sit on your lap yeah all right and whether you're doing drawing painting or weeding which is what it's designed for it's an indestructible non-scratch surface okay and it has five different levels of light and what what's hard for you to see with this is that it, I'm just gonna damp, damp <laughs> turn it down, but it goes way up and goes way down. So you have five different things. It's, it's going to show through, look at this. This is, when I want this one, I want this one. This is what, if you cut on a Cricut, right? This is what you're cutting. So you see it's glitter. You liked that glitter vinyl that we were just that. talking about. When you lay it over the bright pad, you, and you, 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 adjust the light, you can see the cuts so perfectly that all you're doing is taking the Cricut weeding tool and you're taking away the negative spaces of the design before you transfer this to whatever surface this is gonna go on. This would be beautiful on a tray, you know, or um, a, you know, a housewarming gift or I'm not sure, like if you were working on, like this could be, this design could be a beautiful book cover. And it's Gorgeous. just all about what, you know, how you see things. This is going to aid you in doing something that's quite difficult with, with the You know, for me, cuts. I do so many letters and words that trying to get like the little part of the E out or an A out, you know, you need to really be able to see that. Because if you pull yeah. the wrong thing off, you're screwed. <laughs> like you really need to know and make sure you only pull off the stuff that's going to be 
unneeded. Um, real quick, I just want to mention too, because a lot of you are online right now. Michelle says she loves her bright pad. And Michelle, I'd love to know why. Like, what, what do you use it for? Is it weeding or what, what is that? Also too, Michelle loves her maker. Um, and she said the maker is on my dream list. Oh, it's on your dream list. Yeah. Um, really quickly, uh, uh, Tanya says Anna's cards are amazing, Miss Anna. Oh, Holly said great for stencils. Yeah. Good point, Holly. Very good point. Hey, That's a little great idea. Okay, so I'm cutting. This is so one of the things I'm, I'm, I'm weeding uh, an iron on, and when you're when you're working with iron on, you have to cut backwards on the Cricut. You have a mirror image, and what's so great about that is that you 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 you, you can't see it. See, it's Anna, the big old <laughs> Anna. Um, but Suzanne, to, to answer your question about this little part right here of the letter, that's called a counter, a counter of the letter. And so you have the A cinder and the D cinder, which is the A cinder is the part that goes above the, the line, and the D cinder is the part that goes below, like a G, right? So you're taking away that negative space, and you're doing it with your Cricut weeding tools, which we have all those here. And watch this. This is really fun. This is going to let go. Yeah. See, Cricut, the amazing intricacy of the cuts. That's true. This is, like, when we get down in here, we're looking at really beautiful things that occur only with the lightest touch. Okay? So, let's go back to, like, maybe, the like, you're doing, you're a, a calligrapher, yep. and you work with maybe oh. a template, or you're working with something like um, a copper plate. You have to see through the material that you're working with. So, so cute. You're, there's Bernie Lee, <laughs> right? And the stencil. But no matter what you're doing, you're actually having to see through something, and the bright pad actually helps you do that. I'm going to turn the light down so they can see that a little bit better. So it's all up to what you would use it for. I personally, I'm going to dig through this. I'm going to show you one of the things when you're lining up two different colors of, of iron on, you see, it's really hard to see through them. And you look right here where the pink is inlaid in the gold. You've got it so tight that you need the aid of the light so that you can actually put it. I'm going to turn it up here. So then now you can iron it on and have that two color iron on. It's perfectly illuminated. So, Suzanne, you have to come back. <laughs> you have to come back. Why do I have to come back? Because I'm Would just, you miss me? Yeah. Sorry. We're having a little technical difficulty, <laughs> so I was trying to handle it all set. Sorry about that. <laughs> I have to come back and talk to me. I'm sorry, dear. Like sorry, me sorry. Being in my little studio. Okay, so here it is. Sue said, hey, Anna and Suzanne, I am loving this amazing show. Oh, she wants some French-themed dyes. Can you do an Eiffel Tower for her? Sure. Oh, but you know, the cricket. Said, the cricket has thousands of Eiffel Towers. Oh, yes. Do you have the cricket? The, Sue, get the cricket. There's so many French themed things, and then you can cut Eiffel Towers to your heart's extent, and then you can make them different sizes if you want to. It's so cool. Now, this one, Jennifer said, My husband, an architect, took my bright pad. <laughs> well, that makes sense to it me. Does, so yeah. I started out in architecture before I start, worked in graphic design. Yeah. And the, the ability to see through things and trace things. And like this is, I'm working with two different colors of, of vinyl. And being able to register things, you see, well, I'm going to have to pick oh, this up so point. that you can yep. see. Yep. This, is, this was gold. Let's turn it off. Gold on the white. So once you've, I didn't weed it completely, but now I can transfer this in the two color to a new surface. Yeah, that's a great point. I, this is a new one too. Sue said uh, she has the bright pad and loves it. It makes it so easy for folks with sight issues. That is a wonderful point, Sue. Thank you for pointing that out. Because again, if you need something a little brighter underneath so you can see better, I thought that was an excellent point. That's Susan. Susan Anglin. I know who that is. No, her name's Sue Hartlab. Oh, close oh, well. enough. Samantha said, um, I love my bright pad. It really helps. Sue said, use your die cuts and needed to be punched out so I don't miss anything. Oh, when she's doing, when yeah. she's using the really intricate die cuts. Yeah, that's what a, a great idea. idea. That's a really so, good idea. So in art school, right, I went to design school and one of the things that we had to do in some of those architecture classes was learn the um, like Greek architecture and the way we learned was we traced 
silver, the antique books like this, right? We would go in and we would draw the buildings and we would learn the column structure and that sort of thing. And it was so therapeutic for me because it was so, you know, it was one of those things. It was easy. You could see through it and you could feel good about what you were doing. Even though, even if you didn't do this, you know, originally, yeah. I'm transferring it to the front of this card, this whole beautiful little drawing, so then I can paint it. So it's all about using this light surface in multiple ways. That's you know, not just weeding idea. for your cricket. Sure. You're going to draw and paint and I guess we should do more. Um, yeah. Here's another one to your point. <laughs> Kathy says, love my bright pad. Use mine to trace patterns for applique and sewing patterns. Oh, I have that. Aha! Good idea, oh, I Kathy. Love that. I love that. I always show this. I have this in a, an envelope in our office, Kathy. And so this is a wow. little painting. Um, so beautiful. This was from Germany. And this was originally for needlework. And I have thousands of things like this. Well, I got the idea one day that I wanted it to be ribbon embroidery. And so I took a piece of tracing paper and traced the little design uh, on the tracing paper and oh, then wow. transferred it to the pillowcase mm -hmm. and in the ribbon embroidery. So it becomes something like for me, stitching, this is a real therapy of mine. I, I've been knitting and stitching since I was little. Oh, wow. uh, but the bright pad helps you do that. Like it helps you bring something like this to life mm -hmm. in many different mediums. Right. So it's, it's kind of fun. Also too, if you still have a bunch of all of those old um, slides and you don't know what the pictures are, it works for that. If you've got old film strips, and you want to see what's on. I mean, really, that's yeah. originally what light, really the light pads were designed for. So um, let's see. Mary and Lynn says, so many ideas for fun crafting. I love my bright pad for hand lettering. So she's back to what you're talking about with the calligraphy and exactly. things like that. Yeah. And so did I tell you that one of the things that's really, um, I, it's, it's almost indestructible. I said it was non-scratch, right? So like you're using your weeding tool, it's not gonna scratch. But if you drop it, it's not gonna break. It's shatterproof. It's, it's a really amazing little surface. So, it, you know, I, I, I do a lot of work on my lap, especially in front of the television. And it, it's really helpful to me. I use it as a, a bit of a lap desk, you know, yeah, kind of yeah. thing. But it, it, imagine weeding something like this. Right from your cut, right? You're excited, the machine did all the cutting, but then you've gotta go in and get rid of all that stuff. Well, this is gonna make that 10 times faster. And easier to see. Okay, yeah. this visit only price means the price is good for just today. We have four flex pays on it. Um, also, oh, here's what, well, let me just tell you the scoop. I want you to come back to me for just a second. I gotta set up why we're showing you this. <laughs> just for one moment. All right, so we love our Cricut Maker, and yes, we are going to attempt to get to the Maker, but right now we're having a bit of technical difficulties. So, what we're gonna do if you're channel surfing is, we're gonna bring back two of the most popular items from last hour. We're gonna re-air them for you so you can see them. I think we've sold over a thousand of the fans you're about to see. And this is brand new. We launched it last hour. It's a four-piece die fan set, and they're mini dies, which are adorable. And we have four flex pays of only $4.49. So, we'll get to the those. We're going to bring a couple items back in that you haven't seen, but hopefully we will get our technical difficulties fixed and we will actually show you the Cricut Maker because the Cricut Maker has to work with Design Space and that's all on the internet. So God bless the internet. All right, so uh, when I'm trying to wait on some of the grid lines, okay. Um, oh, coming up as well. Oh, we're going to do the mini guy? Okay, got it. This is so cute too. And actually those fans fit through that little machine. It's called the mini die cutting and embossing machine. Now when we first launched this, it's a really funny story actually. Anna was doing a video online and she, you were doing the video on something and it was not this, but you had it on your desk, remember? And I, I saw her and I immediately said, I What's have that? to know what that is, what is that? And she goes, what are you talking about? You had it in the video, it was behind you. She goes, oh my gosh, that's my mini die cutting machine. And I flipped my noodle. It's so <laughs> cute, because it's totally portable, it's really small. And for me, I do tons of cards. It's the kind of size I need. A couple cranks and your dies go through, including those fan dies. And little embossing photos are working there too. So that is going to be kind of a peek at it when we do the fans next or this hour and it's still to come but now we're going to talk about one of my all-time favorite favorite extra items i have a lot of favorite cricket items isn't that funny you're I, a cricket girl i am you know i really am because they make they're just 
beautifully made and so well thought out. And this is one of those, and this is well, my guy right here, the 999. Revolutionary yep. business. They yep. are in the the disrupting business for crafting, and That's they make the, the best products in the world. Yes, they do. Um, this is the Cricut Easy Press 2. Uh, this is, uh, as I was telling you a little earlier, it has new features and benefits. Uh, <laughs> this is the traditional size, nine by nine. This is a, a ceramic heating surface, even no cold spots, amazing machine that's going to make iron-on transfers in 60 seconds or less, right? You're going to get, this is the tray that it sits in as it warms up, but Easy Press 2 actually goes up, heats up to 400 degrees and heats up 25% faster than the oh. original Easy Press. Wow. Okay, so what, what it does is that you are going to actually, you have a thermometer, right? So there's a thermometer to set the temperature. There's a timer to set the time, and then you press the start button, okay? And I'm gonna do that on this mama bear one right here. This looks much bigger than this, doesn't it? Okay, so you're getting, with this with this bundle from HSN, you're actually getting the mat, which is underneath Under each here. one of these, right? Yeah, I'll and show you that. Normally you have to buy this separately, and how much is this? Do you remember how much this is separately? Because we sold them separately too. Yeah, I don't know, but it comes with the size mat of your Get machine. Get the mat now. So what's what it's doing for me right now, which we want to stay with this because it's counting it's counting me down. It's down to six seconds, and what's going to happen? It's going to tell me. It's going to beep when it's done, and you do give it a little pressure. Okay, so now it's completely finished, and so you give it a little pressure as it's it's doing this, and I notice that it hasn't it actually hasn't done this on all sides. So I'm gonna start over on one side and then we're gonna go. Right, okay, so this is what's amazing. I'm gonna hold this down, I'm gonna show you the new Easy I Press new 2 that is six by seven. Oh gosh, that's so cute. Tiny, tiny wonderful thing. And you notice that my iron-on says baby bear. This is real. I'm on the mama bear with the nine by nine, and I'm on the baby bear with the six by seven. And we're gonna do okay. papa bear too. And we're it's gonna coming. do them both. So look at this, double fisted, easy pressing. Okay, I got most of it. No, let's just, I don't want Here. this to be wrong. Right. So <laughs> let's just do that. Okay, hold them down. You don't have to put, apply a lot of pressure. This is, the, the right. guarantee iron-on success in 60 seconds or less. Right. It is, if you've ever tried an iron-on with an iron, which you can use with all the Cricut materials, iron-on with an iron works easily. It this works, is fast. But you're going back and forth and back and forth, and then you never know the temperature to set. Here's what I like. When you get this at home, there's an instruction card in there. The instruction card says whatever you're working with on an iron-on it could be glitter iron-on it could be vi whatever the iron could be fuzzy flock iron-on it'll give you the equivalent temperature and time you need to set this for and this heats up to the exact temperature that you need for that that was one of my favorite favorite features is I could get it right I didn't have to guess on my iron well I don't know is my iron 250 degrees or is it 400 55. This will be the exact temperature that you need, and I love that little chart that comes with it. Okay, this is Papa Bear. He's a big guy. This is 10 by 12. All right, so this is for, if you want to do iron-on projects, is it going? Yes. Um, uh, iron-on projects for, like, a duffel bag, or a giant jacket, or s just something larger than life, you know, bigger than this t-shirt. I've got some things down there that are larger. It's, it's one of those, it's a major surface, and it coming with the mat, I think this is the this is the biggest bargain. Mm -hmm. That you're getting the silicone holder. You're getting the. Here's the mat. This is the heat resistant mat. It's going to. It, what's going to happen with the heat is that it's going to create moisture. This is a moisture barrier for you and your surface, which I think is really important, especially if you're working in your kitchen. You know what? You don't want to damage your counter or a table or d your dining room table. Any surface, really. Right. I'm letting these cool. Okay. So everybody's beeping over here. So here's what we've Let's got. Go you're going to pick um, the smallest little guy, which I'm in love with, the six by seven, and that's one thirty nine ninety five. And we of course have five flex and the five dollar shipping deal. Then we have the nine by nine. Or we have the 12 by 12. We're the only place where we actually include the mat. Everywhere else you have to buy the mat separately, but you're getting the mat with our configuration. Um, we're gonna say hi to Sharon in Montana. Hi, Miss Sharon, you're on with Anna and Suzanne. Thanks for joining us. Hi. Hi. Welcome. I slept like four hours this afternoon just so I could make sure I was awake tonight to see this. Oh, oh wonderful. 
Oh, I'm glad you had a nap. Anna Griffin, I just love your stuff. It is so feminine and just so dainty. I just love it. Oh, I thank have you. Probably just about everything you have. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, that's that's a lot of stuff, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> and Suzanne Runyon, I think I've, I've been watching you since you've been on QVC. Oh, well then you've been watching me for many, many, many years. <laughs> yes, I do have. Well, I love that. Well, thank you. Well, Anna Griffin, I, you are a blessing to me. I suffer from pretty much daily migraine, so I am homebound. Oh. And so all your crafts, uh, keep me going all the time. Oh, I'm so glad. Well, good. Yeah. Well, Sharon, it was wonderful I, chatting with you. I have one question. What's that? On your stamps, and it's not just your stamp, the one that you put handmade by on the back. Mm -hmm. There's some glossy type cards that when you stamp on them, they, they smear even though you put a hot the heater on them. Uh-huh. Um, have you had that problem or? Well, it sounds like it's more about the ink that you're using than it is the, oh. um, the uh, heat setting. Yeah. So you might want to use, uh, stays on. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. what it is, Sharon, Sharon, hopefully you can still hear us. It's called stays on and that works brilliantly on any kind of glossy slick surfaces. So again, Sharon, I'm going to repeat it one more time. Just make sure you heard it. It's called stays on ink and that's the one I would highly recommend. I think you would too, right? That's the one I use if it's glossy. All right. So I'm, here's the scoop I'm too. I'm easy pressing over here. You're easy pressing <laughs> away. You know what's really cool with the easy press too? It's all the fun. Once again, you know what? I love to do tea towels. I get very inexpensive tea towels and then I monitor the heck out of them or I put funny sayings on them. I have absolutely lost my mind with iron-ons and vinyls and the easy press is the way to go. If you've been using a traditional iron, I'll tell you, this is absolutely worth every single penny you'll pay for it. It just works so brilliantly. Yeah, well, and that's we're, nice. we're doing a lot of clothing here, but we're it just, it opens up your mind and your imagination to all the things that you, you can iron on to paper. You can iron on to the front of a journal. Yeah. You it doesn't have to be a bag or a piece of clothing. The iron-on is going to work for multiple surfaces and be iron-on success in 60 seconds or less. And if you need iron-on material, that's next. So it all, it all is one happy little group here. And I love that too. So if you don't have it yet, I can't believe we have all three sizes. I'm super envious of the little small guy. I have the nine by nine and that works on almost all surfaces that I'm working on. Oh, I've done bags. I've done fabric bags. I, you wouldn't believe. I should, if I had time, I would post everything I make with my Cricut stuff. We'd like but to again, see it. Would you, well, you know, I need more time in my life. All right, <laughs> here we go. So Penny would love to try those. Yes, Penny, it is awesome. Dorothy said, hi, Ann and Suzanne. I'm having a great time shopping love your products Anna yay because I'm on Facebook live right now all right we moving over there guys let's do it all right here's a quick reminder okay if you ever, ever, ever thought about getting the Cricut Maker, I think tonight's the perfect time to do it. It is one of the very best electronic cutting, writing, scoring machines. It's amazing. And the Maker is the most advanced one that's out there. Here's what we have tonight. We have the lowest price we've ever offered on the Maker. It has never been more affordable than it is on this visit only. And that price is good for 24 hours and we have five flex. And please remember if you wanna save even more money, you're only gonna spend $5 for all of your crafting being shipped today. So if you are gonna get multiple items, like a maker, it's not a small little machine, it's a pretty good size, then this is the time to do it. We have three colors, the blue, the champagne, love the rose gold, and it's just a tremendous machine. It's worth every single penny to own that machine just because it's unlimited what you can do. Your mind will go crazy from vinyls to doing paper projects to on and on and on. I mean, iron-ons and, and creating gifts and cards and just everything. It's just remarkable what this can do. We also have the cute little storage bag if you want to get it in an Anna print. I thought that was really cute. Uh, and there it is, $37.95, and we have four flex bays on that as well. Um, Kelly said, so funny, Suzanne, we fixed our bumper with Cricut Designs also. Kelly, <laughs> you need to see. <laughs> Send pictures. Kelly, I love you. I want to see a picture of how you fixed your bumper with Cricut. <laughs> see? 
I like you, Kelly. You and I are thinking the same way. I'm too, th that's crafters for you. We're so frugal. Do you know, Kelly? We're I so, sure do. We're hey, so, Kelly. <laughs> you know what? We're so frugal. We won't spend the money on a dumb crack in our fender. We're like, I'll just cover it up with my Cricut. That's I can, a, I'll use the vinyl. There's a lot of Griffinites on this Facebook live right that's this fun, minute. That's fun, you guys. Thanks and for being here, too. Every person that I can see on your screen just about is coming to create next week. How exciting. <laughs> oh, good. We're going to have to be making some stuff like this. Okay, so we've been talking a lot about iron on. Yeah, this is I'm extra still ironing special. On. I love I'm this. I'm still ironing on, and I'm using a foil iron-on, and this is a brand new foil material, okay, from Cricut. That is, it's it's shiny iron-on. Okay, so we've had matte, we've had lots of colors, we've had holographic, we've had all kinds of things, but this That's is as shiny gorgeous. as my foil paper, but oh. it's iron-on, and you're getting. Um, Two different color group samplers, and I'm sorry, I have to keep holding this before I. All right, we'll just let this cool. There we go. So you're getting both of both of these colors. One's called ladylike, and the other one is called. Mm, I don't know what. Christmas is a holiday one. So as you're working with these, they're 12 by 12 sheets. They're, there's traditional red, green, and silver. There's rose gold and red and a beautiful, beautiful pink. And then you've got a bright gold. So you have every color you need. And when you're transferring foil to a substrate, what's so fun is now it looks really professional. Looks now great. we've got the major foil, not just you know, not just iron on. Now right. it looks like it's been manufactured. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, like like really good, nicely yeah. done. All right. We also have the glitter collection. Let me show you this one. So here's the glitter. You get the gold. Well, now this is really cool, guys. We don't have it out here, but see, it's not just gold glitter. That's silver and red in the glitter. And for holiday, to do holiday iron on, crazy good. Then this is the, this all comes together. That's silver, and then you also get a lighter silver, and you get a really dark like hematite black. Then look at this one. This is more of what I call like a brushed gold and you get a brushed silver. That's called the glitter pack. So that's all of those. And then I want to show you one more. And I love this, Anna. It's so cute. It's the We've pattern. got the pattern designs. And again, these are multiple patterns in one roll. You have another set of patterns in the second roll and then you get two solids. And by the way, I use white all the time. You know what I yes, use it on? Yes, me too, because it goes on gray really beautiful. Oh my gosh, and you know what? Also, I use the white vinyl on um, all of my tennis tumblers I do for everybody. Yeah. Because it pops, it looks yeah. so good. I just made it for a friend, Kat. I, have this, I did this deep purple tumbler to have a little glitter on it, and then I put her monogram with lots of curvies in uh, white, and it just looks fabulous. I just saw it the other day. Well, oh, that looks it's great. just so much fun to use the shiny foil right on just about any surface. This is a canvas tote, and I just finished another one. I mean, like, we're just You're ironing on like out, crazy. <laughs> well, because you can, this is how, you could turn yourself into a manufacturing facility quite quickly with working with these materials. But one of the things I, I wanna say about having this, it, at home, having a sampler means that one, you can make just about anything um, because you have just what you need already, meaning versus having a whole roll of one color. Right. Having multiple colors, especially this time of year and especially with the beautiful Christmas colors included in this, you're, you're, you've got, I mean, it's just great. So and, let me and show you. Each, you get eight sheets total in any, any of these configurations, right? So you yeah. get eight, right? Did I get that right? Yeah, I guess yes, it you is. Did. Right. And it's a 12 by 12. So again, it's pattern it's glitter or it's um the what do you call this one this I've got is pattern foil. And glitter. it's foil so yeah foil glitter or pattern and i'd recommend if you really do like sparkle get the glitter and get the foil both if yeah. you can swing it especially yeah. with our flex pay today so what i didn't show you in the little easy press demonstration was that when you're setting the timer and you're setting the time you want to warm up your surface so this is where this is an illustration of your gift giving mm -hmm. suzanne's gift giving all right now it's ready i'm using the foil to i've already used the green and the red to do the little leaves that looks great you warm up the surface first right we cut the piece on earth already with Cricut and so like that's what we're not seeing is the cutting that goes on before all these projects but it's really about anything you can dream up you can make yeah. 
with a Cricut product. I've done a housewarming gift where I literally recreated in gold foil and yellow and, and red foil um, the person's house on the front of a tea uh, thing. And I said something about may all, may, the, may under your roof bring you happiness and laughter and joy in the writing. And I did it all with my Cricut and using foil. Which and was she, what you wanted to say, right? Like the, yeah, exactly what yeah. you wanted to well, say you came to life. And you know, if you ever price those really funny tea towels that say really smart aleck things to your friends, you know what I'm talking, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love those tea towels. They cost like $25 a piece. I'm like, I can make it with a dollar tea towel and my Cricut that fast for pennies. So <laughs> again, yes, thrifty girls, is, I mean, and people really love the gifts because it's so custom made. All right, Judy in New York, we're gonna say hi to her. Hi, Judy, you're on with Anna and Suzanne, welcome. Hi, Anna and Suzanne, how are you? Good, Good. how are you? Good, I want to thank you, Anna Griffin. I uh, bought your card making kit. I'm amazed, I had so much fun with it. I made all the Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas cards. I can't wait to start addressing them and writing little notes inside. I used ribbon, uh, little flowers, all these little things that I found around the house and in my little spaces to add to them. And people were so happy with just the basic things that I gave them for Halloween and Thanksgiving. Oh. It was a wonderful kit, and I hope you make some more of those. I will, I promise. I'm glad everybody was happy. That's the name of the game. Make yes. people happy with your cards. Yes, they call me and thank me for them. Oh, how sweet. I love it. I know. Oh, Judy, well, thanks for sharing your story. It was nice chatting with you tonight. Okay, so, bye. <laughs> so, Susanna, look at this. We're going to look at that this project. That turned out fabulous. So, two different colors of foil combined into your fancy tea towel Love. project. That is right? great. A little. That's a fun Christmas Eve dinner napkin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, can you imagine putting? I don't know. Maybe everybody's like name. monogram on there or name on there, yeah. and then it's right in front of them. They can take it home with them after you're done. How cool would that be? So, this is what you're talking about, right? Taking yep. finding surfaces, and this is like the the minute you, this door opens for you and your mind, your creative mind, is like you're looking for things oh, yeah. to apply the iron on to. It's everywhere. And, and by the way, and can I tell you, the best tea towels are at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? They're in the back and it's like a pack of six and they're the really good cottony ones that are really yummy. Right. Yeah, just FYI. But even like a plain canvas, right? Yeah. Look at this. Like you're using, you're creating a beautiful graphic to hang on the wall. That's Two so different cool. colors of foil. It's just, like I said, the minute you start thinking about this, it's all going to show up for you. Okay, I just want to mention too, we had a question on Facebook. They want to know if the, um, on the um, heat press, we only have the raspberry in stock. My color was, what was the original color? Like well, blue? no, the, it only comes in raspberry now. Now. So and we have right raspberry. Now, they're, they're, that's now. You got, and, and then also, she wanted to know, Jane, can you use the foil iron on the on cardstock? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yes. All of this, like this can go on cardstock. It can go on the front of a journal, like a book. You can make, you're, it's permanent, right? So you're now ironing it on to, uh, it doesn't have to just be fabric. Yeah, that's important to note. So thanks for asking. That was a good question. Good question. All right, so here we go. What are we doing next, guys? Oh, yes, customer pick. You guys have made it a favorite. Uh, my son got it for me for Christmas, actually last year. And um, we love it. It is, of course, the Bright Pad. Now, what does this do? A lot of things. And thanks for all your suggestions on Facebook, girls, because there are some really great suggestions. Mainly what most of us use it for is actually weeding uh, what comes out of the Cricut Maker um, and getting all the little pieces and parts pulled out of a design before we're gonna place it on something else. So if you still like to pick it up, you sure can. If you do monogramming, if you do hand lettering, it's great for that. Uh, great for tracing. We had Gal say she'd love to make stencils using it. I think that's a great idea. And we have a couple different colors available and of course for flex. The price is only good for tonight though. So unfortunately we don't have a lot of, um, a lot of, um, <clears throat> Uh, time on the pricing. So that's going to be for a pretty limited time. All right, so I had promised all of you that we'd have this fabulous cricket hour, and we've done our very best because unfortunately, we're having a little internet issue here, um, and we can't actually show the maker, but the maker is available, and it is the lowest price we've ever offered. What we might want to do, guys, is save me about five minutes at the end, and at least we can show 
the basics, even though we won't be well, able to cut show on what, it. what it comes with, because I can. think that's yeah. what was really special about today was that everything, like with the with the today's special, you know, being about foil, the Cricut bundle has beautiful foil things with it, foil craft board, yeah. foil embossed papers, foil party foil. Yes. So it's been it's really beautiful, it's, and it's the lowest price ever. So guys, yeah, if you can save me maybe five Let's, seven minutes on it or so, let's talk about we can, what you get. We'll show you what you I get. Should. <laughs> yeah. Even though we can't quite show you how it works, but it's cool. All right, but what we did, because we do have a little extra time, is we wanted to bring one of the favorites back from last hour. How many have we sold of these already? I know it's, it's got to be over 1,000 in the one hour. Anybody have any idea? How many of these have we sold last hour? I think it's over 1,000. But anyway, so you okay. did these what, beautiful fans. What is that? Those <laughs> are beautiful mini French fan uh, cut and emboss dies. It's a set of eight, so you're getting four dies that cut and emboss, and then a shadow layer die for each of the fans that gives you the background layer, which you know we've we've done in contrast with the shiny and the matte foil. But all three beautiful little French fans and a beautiful little tassel to create a project that looks like this, right? So if you're making, it's size to work on a five by seven card. Now you might make six by six cards or just about any kind of size card. It's half the size of our normal French fan dies. So what's so beautiful about them is that that becomes the perfect embellishment no matter what you're working on. Oh, I can put the fan on it. Oh, there it is. I can, you know, I can fold it and make it 3D. See what it did? Make it into a tussy mussy and fill it with flowers so there you go it's it's one of those it's one of those um little black dress kinds of kits right that goes with everything it works that everything you need. and it's yeah. just there's something so feminine about it yeah there's something so romantic about that beautiful fan and i love the three very distinct designs too yeah me too yeah i love them so we're gonna cut i'm gonna cut them with our um with our little mini, little, which we love the mini. when we say mini, I think those big, the big dies are on the table now so that you can see <laughs> the difference between the mini ones and the, oh, the here, large ones. Oh, here, I'll show you ones. see it, so there we go. This is what she originally did, everybody loved, and then she decided to do these little mini guys. So that's the original big guy, and then here are the little mini guys. That now. Which they're still available, which I think is great. Yeah. So you're gonna take, I'm taking my our new um, plate set for the mini. Does that have paper on the bottom? Yes. Okay, we don't want that because it will emboss all over there. Okay, and we take our new little plate set and we can now emboss our mini dies um, just as easily as we can with the cuddle bug or the impress or any of those things. It's just the little turn of the handle. And <laughs> my sandwich is getting a little skewed, but you'll see what happens. <laughs> we get that same level of detail just with the turn of the handle. So if you're going somewhere, right, you're going, you're going on a trip and you're going, okay, I'm gonna take my mini with me. I'm going to end up with the prettiest little Gosh, die cuts. That's gorgeous. And this, the, this, the mini is a two and a half inch wide plate by nine inches long. So, you know, any of your dies that, that fit that size, this can go with you. It's completely portable. And, and what I like about that too is for me, just as a crafter, I do a lot of cards. And most things when I'm die cutting are, are about that size. So I just think that the, the ease of having this, you just pull it out and you crank really fast and you get it done, makes it so charming. Now, I do want to mention we have... Oh, this is going to mess you up, Kyle. It's number 501 from last hour. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's been a crazy night. There's new magnetic and embossing plates or shims that Anna has created. When you get the, well, obviously you get this, but when we get to talking about the, the actual uh, die cutting machine, we'll give you that information in just a moment because I know she's working with them and a lot of you are asking that question. So, but really we're focused now. Um, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, there it is. Thanks, guys. So there it is. It's actually the brand new plates right and they that are. has a magnetic shim and it has the embossing shim and you just saw Anna work with it too right and so we made them for both the, the 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 difference here really is that we have a magnet plate that holds the die and then we have the embossing mat that embosses the details in the die once it's cut but then the F plate so it's D E and F F now goes on the top of everything through the sandwich of the machine so your F plate now replaces the cutting or the embossing plate 
but you still use your A base. And so you just have a whole new set of basically shims to go through the machine. So it's it's a way to get lots more out of, out that of this machine. Yeah. Uh, and again, three different fans. You get the background and the foreground of the fans. $17.95. I think we've sold now probably about 1,200 of these. And that was just between our two hours tonight with Anna. So if you love to scrapbook, these are such beautiful embellishments. If you want to see what we've made here, okay. you know, you take the paper and, and fold a, a rosette out of paper and then put the fan at the bottom. Now that's a really beautiful technique. And then it's something that we all, you know, it's like, it's just, we're just, that's what I'm talking about right here. You're just expanding and right here, this expanding the thought of the die. So with each that's one, stunning. we've got some amazing wow. decorative things that you can do. Now this is done over and over and over again. I'd probably use the Empress to do this instead <laughs> of the Mini because it would take forever. But but there you go. It's all about using things multiple times and making what you love, it, you know, from these beautiful little dies. Now, all your Griffinites are saying how much they love the Mini. They love it to travel. Mm -hmm. They love to go. You guys are all online, Natasha and Holly and Dorothy. Also, Jeannie said this. Enjoyed your presentation as always. Suzanne and Anna are a dream team. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. She says, it seems design space is down right now. Yes, Indeed, it is. Thus, we're not doing a full presentation on the Cricut Maker. Uh, but actually, um, Jeannie, since you're very familiar with Design Space and the Cricut Maker, I'd love to know what you love best about it. And the rest of you who have the Cricut Maker, maybe pop online because we are going to talk about it for about seven minutes and tell me what's your favorite feature of it. And we'll kind of share your stories since we're going to have kind of a truncated demo on that one. Hey, stay right there for the fans. They are absolutely adorable. They're just a perfect, perfect accessory to your cards and your scrap vaping, scrap, <laughs> scrap, golly <laughs> jeepers. Booking. The scrapbooking, thank you, pages. Now here it is, this is the mini, it is back in stock and gosh knows we love this machine. We have four flex pays on it tonight and it is totally portable, very easy, obviously top quality because well, animated, so it's always gonna be good. And again, it's a crank system, but for those little projects, it's just so perfect because it's right there and it's really handy. You know what else too, Anna? You know what, if you say, look, I can't really swing getting a big electronic um, embossing machine, that's a great way to get one, especially if you're new to crafting. Yeah, you know? and it's, perf it's and perfect for my niece. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it's right. It's perfect for the person that you know that you want to get into cutting, die cutting and embossing and to use, I mean, it's it's a it's a sturdy little machine. It's right. not one of, there There are lots of mini machines out there, but that one's really like a workhorse. Really well made. Yeah. Okay, so here's another favorite you might have missed and we wanted to bring it back out because I think we've sold over a thousand of these. I know it's way over a thousand at this point, but I love this concept. So you have actually taught this at your create event last year right I did I did this is um, this is what's called a pulley card that's my own nickname for it meaning that it comes like a, a beautiful Victorian Valentine where you write your message here comes out of the envelope and the person that receives it folds this down and the card presents itself in such a beautiful way so this is Suzanne I've collected things like this forever I'm an antique girl and this one is not very very old but it is so beautiful but as you see this is what the vintage cards were like and now we've reinvented it in a way that makes it simple and easy for you to create your own expression of that by decorating that that mechanism that is so clever absolutely beautiful card yeah so we want to see how it works um Oh dear. Okay, well, let's start. <laughs> I don't want that one. Let's start over here. Let's start with a new one. So what we did was we, um, when, when you do this from scratch, you actually have to measure and score and then fold into the, to get these little bitty stair steps. But what we did was that it comes like this, all right? It comes flat, comes like that. You fold down the steps, okay? Like the stairs to the attic. And then you're going to peel off the adhesive backing, which is white. And if you had fingernails, you could do that. Okay, and so then on the card, this is what's really important to note, is it says A, B, C, and D. And if I could put this down and still show it to you, that'd be helpful. So A, B, C, and D. So C and D go right on themselves, okay? And they stick down, all right? So now we have our beautiful little chair shape, right? Mm -hmm. Then this goes, this loops back and the cut, there's a cut in the back of the card. It's a slit and you slide the pulley through the back of the slit, okay? And I promise this is easy. It's just 
this is not my time of the morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as you're looking at this, what happens is that we made a little loop. All right. Now this is going to secure itself and you're going to take away the adhesive off the bottom. All right. And so how we do that is A and B go on A and B. All right. And they go, they go backwards and then E goes on E, which is blue to blue. All right, and now the entire thing is ready to move up and down and be decorated. So okay, so that's everything you're getting is this entire little mechanism. You're getting 20 of the little pulleys. You're getting 20 beautiful background cards that you can emboss and decorate. And then collage card toppers with ribbon already attached, already die cut, and then all the embellishments, the envelopes, and better instruction than I just gave you in writing. <laughs> it all comes in a nice little box. All right, yes. now we officially are gonna talk about the Cricut Maker, but indeed, it's gonna be a little truncated, uh, but we're gonna get to it right now because this is really was the basis of the whole show. It is the, one of the very best uh, cutting machines, writing machines, scoring machines that there is out there. And we've got actually three different colors tonight too. This is gonna be the blue, which is so pretty. We have the champagne pink or the champagne, or excuse me, it's champagne rose. and the rose gold. So we have three different colors available. Um, a couple things, like I asked you guys online, um, someone said, oh, Claire said, I love the sensor on the maker so she can do what's called print then cut. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk about that in just a minute. But. Okay. So let's just, uh, it's, it's what's so great. <laughs> One of the best things about the Cricut Design Space being down right now is that, um, that it gives me a chance to talk about it while it's not here. You That's know true. what I mean? That's okay, <laughs> so this beautiful machine is powered by a free software, right? And that's what we keep talking about. This is going to cut thousands of materials and it's going to cut it with 10 times the pressure than ever before. And meaning that all of the Cricut family of machines have, have, have been amazing cutting machines, but now this has an industrial strength pressure that allows you to cut through board and wood and things that are really uh, unusual because the the pressure in this cutting this is the this is what's called the adaptive tool system and right here right this is what we all know and love about Cricut our beautiful fine point blade now changes out to all these beautiful housings that this is the scoring wheel there is a knife blade there is a double scoring wheel and it all goes right in here and sorry don't lean on the table Anna that's right um <laughs> and so the, so the maker, right, the maker has never come in blue until October. Look, it's cutting fabric because part of the adaptive tool system is the rotary blade. This is a revolutionary thing here because what happened before, it was it was a point-to-point -point cut. Now we have an XY axis and everything has changed. The game changed with the Cricut Maker because sure it just exploded the ability. I mean, there's, there's nothing like this and there will never be anything else like it in the world. It's very true. So, so what's so fantastic is that this machine is able to cut thousands of materials and it is going to be powered by your device. Okay. So it can be, it can be cut. You're going to use your, this is your navigation right here, all through this free software. And what you're seeing is the projects that are on my iPad because I downloaded all my projects to be on TV. So I don't need the internet. <laughs> I don't need to, I don't need anything I can cut offline because I already downloaded my fault my files which is really great you can also now if I can get this open uh, and I don't know that we can see what we can see or we can see anything you can yeah you can't this is offline but which I can drive this machine with my phone that's cool or I your can, computer you can my, use computer, your, I use my computer but I just love I love this setup right here but for the first time ever we've put together like I said a foil bundle and a special for today and Cricut this is Cricut's embossed foil paper and it's it's everything it's very fun it's it's got a mid-century kind of look to it and then this is their new this. craft board and this is multiple colors and it's chipboard on the back so it's brown on the back and it has foil on the front and then and then this is the party foil which is like all kinds of exciting that's the streamers that you make 
make for parties. And Isn't I actually fun? have an entire party over here to show you, which I think I'll do. Okay, let's but do it. But it's also coming with the scoring wheel. So the machine's coming with the, with the fine point blade and the scoring wheel. And let me show you the value we put together. I did mention earlier, this is the best time ever to buy a Cricut because the price is phenomenal on this. So we're gonna break it down for you. Just the Cricut Maker by itself, almost $400 if I stop there, it's nice savings. The scoring wheel, that's another $40. I didn't get the scoring wheel with mine because they released that relatively recently. The foil craft board samplers, 15, the deluxe foil papers, 10, and the party forals, $5. So this is $469 of true value. I also love we have the five flex pay we've reduced the shipping that's normally almost to twenty dollars in just shipping it because it's not a small little box it's not earrings and we've reduced the shipping and remember it's only five dollars all day to ship everything i'm gonna fly that i'm gonna cute. fly through the party when you think cute, about cute. cricket you think about doing something like creating an invitation you can create the envelope this is with the beautiful new foil board Very now nice. what's happening is that you're actually cutting you're cutting intricate cutting with this you, look at that. So you see the party time, the whole thing, gorgeous cut, right? That's easy. Now, if you're thinking about making the decorations, okay, so maybe you're thinking about making uh, a rosette, right? You're going to make entire party decorations for your photo booth. The machine and the new scoring wheel is going to do exactly this for you. No measuring, the machine does all the work. Now, if you you're thinking about, I'm sorry, I have, these are all my cuts, all right? If you're thinking about the party foil and you're thinking about streamers, that's one thing. But what if you decided to create mm -hmm. table confetti? Oh, cute. All right, birthday party hats, birthday words, beautiful <laughs> little things, so all with the that. party foil. It's so cute. Yeah, I could flip this over and we'll just dump it out and show it to you. All right, and we did the straws. Look at we that. actually did the cake topper with this. So the cake topper is out of chipboard with, with vinyl. Um, applied to the front of it and this is the the gold That's foil cute. everything about this beautiful foil board bows and everything that you need from the beginning to the end of the and party it's all within with this. this cricket maker world all right anna thank you so much <laughs> we'll see you later on today Yep, 9 yes. o'clock. Okay, good. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get that design space up for later on. Stick around. It's an encore presentation of 